welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here it's been a couple weeks since i made a video i know i'm sorry i just moved if you didn't know that i know i mentioned it a couple times if you can't tell my background is completely different it's actually like kind of decorated it's obviously not done because i just moved but so if you are new here, like as in within the last year at least, um, I used to make a couple, I say used to, but I made like two. I made videos where I asked you guys about things that you wanted to be added into Bloxburg. This idea was originally from Pita Bread, if I remember correctly. So again, of course, all credit goes to him. But this will be the third video that I am making. I think my first one was ideas... I think my first one was things that I wanted added, the second one was things that you guys wanted, and this will also be things that you guys suggested on my Discord server. So I have not looked through any of these. By the way, if you're not in my Discord, the code is ASRIA, I will put it on the screen. It's also always in the description of my videos. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna go to the- oh wow, that's one person's. <laughs> I'm just going to start from the bottom. I'm not going to bother trying to go all the way up. So I did not just limit you guys to items this time. I think I was kind of doing that in the other videos. But this is basically just anything that you want added. Bubbles, 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 bubbles. Hold on. She was trying to climb inside my curtain and sit in. Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm also not going to read out every single idea if someone posts more than one. I'm just going to kind of pick things out just so that this video isn't nine years long. One of the things that Irene said was to rotate things in different ways. So I'm not sure exactly which way she means to rotate. Like, I don't know if that means she wants like to be able to rotate a couch upside down, I don't know. But my take on that was to be able to rotate things on the walls, because you can't do any of that. So like if I wanted to put those picture frames up there and tilt them, you can't do that yet. So that would be nice. Yeah, because I guess the only way that you can rotate things is on the X axis, right? So maybe she wants to be able to kind of just like flip things around, I don't know. This one I saw a lot. So this person said, I really want them to upgrade the gas station to where it actually works and it's not just there for decor. I really think that would be a fun idea. However, it would be more costly to players because if that means that your car needs gas to work, I assume they would make it so that you had to fill it up every once in a while and that would, you know, be another cost, which I feel like a lot of people would complain about but it would be obviously a more realistic aspect that would be kind of cool she also said she wants pets I know I get it every single person wants pets I do believe that it is a work in progress I have no idea how soon that will be a thing but the devs have said it it's coming oh she also suggested that there be like kind of a public transport thing so they said maybe for the people that walk around they can add some buses but cost $10 at the maximum and it just depends on how far you're going for the amount. I kind of doubt that they would make the maximum 10. I feel like that would be a minimum. <laughs> that sounds like a really cool idea, like just like a, a transport thing to get to and from at least like one side of the map to the other. Okay, I, I saw this more than once, but they said, lastly, a nice thing to have is different daily rewards and the higher you get, the more you get. They said, I am on day streak 86, but still get the same normal small amount of money in block bucks. Blocks bucks? Block? Blocks? whatever. I personally have never had more than like a seven day streak so mine always resets anyway but I do feel like that's kind of a fair request because the more you play yeah like getting more money for it I think that's fair. Okay Amy she's a moderator on my server she said duvets throw blankets and cushions I think cushions means pillows she's Australian is that what they call it cushions um, anyway, I think I mentioned this in my video of what things that I wanted and of course they're still not a thing But I know I do know that it's kind of a complicated thing because you know throw blankets have to be able to go on a certain height to fit certain couches obviously know nothing about the development of this game so I And I feel like I'm always like this is a cool idea but is it even possible like I just need to stop saying that and just read your guys' ideas don't take anything I say like too seriously because I honestly have no idea what I'm talking about. I just kind of know what I've heard from the devs and whatever. So 
take everything I say with a grain of salt. Okay, it's Dot Morgs said a game pass for more colors. So when we are building, we can do the colors the game has, but we can also make our own colors. I saw this request so many times. A lot of people really want a color wheel to be able to choose your colors. I was about to say another thing as if I know what I'm talking about. I do agree, I would so love to have a color wheel. To be honest though, I really like having a set amount of colors, like maybe if we just added more colors, but I feel like if you have a color wheel of that kind, if you make a color that you really like and want to use it in another build, like that exact same color, especially if I'm making something and someone else wants to copy it, it's kind of more difficult if there's a color wheel. Um, obviously, there's the hex codes. What are they called? Hex... Uh, hex... Just like the codes for colors, you know? You know what I'm talking about. If you've ever seen a color wheel, there's always like the hashtag and then you can type in the numbers and letters combination that gets you that exact color. So it's obviously a possibility like thinking about it, but it would make things more complicated when you're trying to copy it and use the color that you know that you really like, but I don't know. You London. <laughs> they said um, they want a small decal that's not tilted like the poster and without a picture frame. I totally agree. I was making, spoiler, but I was making my new real life house on Bloxburg. I don't think it'll be up before this. But my little sister has this big photo collage on one of her walls and I, the only way that I could recreate it was to use those posters and they're tilted and so it looks kind of funny. So having something of that size without being framed, I would love that. Oh, this is fun. This would be really helpful for speed builders. They said, I want a thing in build mode so you can set your own budget so that you don't go over budget. I think that's a fun idea. I don't know if that's a realistic thing that they'll like actually add, but I think that would be a really cool idea, like especially for me as a speed builder when I'm making a 10K house and I almost always go over it. So that would kind of keep me in check. Okay, now I'm on the really long one. <laughs> this is interesting. So they want like YouTube settings. Like for example, you can remove the GUI and remove the mouse in first person. I know that you can remove the GUI just by going into the little, where you just like pull up that box and then like hide the GUI and whatever. I use that for when I tore my builds. Um, I want to say that I've seen something about being able to remove the mouse, but I think I mentioned that to someone and they were like, what are you talking about? That's not a thing, but I thought I saw it on TikTok. Oh, this one's fun. So they want seasonal updates. So I am assuming they mean not just like the item updates that always come when it's different seasons, but to actually have map updates. For example, they said in winter um, to have an ice rink. So obviously if you've ever played Bloxburg during winter, they always have the snow on the ground. But that would be cool if they had a section of the map where they just put a big ice rink or something like that. Maybe like a hot chocolate stand or something also. The next thing that they said was a money to blocks bucks converter. For example, they said 100k per one blocks bucks. That seems like kind of a lot, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I know that I've seen that a lot. I've seen people also wanna do it the other way around where you can also convert blocks bucks into the normal money. Oh, they also suggested national food. I think they meant to say international food. To be honest, I think my cooking skill is like not even max level. I don't think any of my skills are max level. <laughs> so I'm not sure what kind of international dishes that they have, but that would definitely, I think, make a lot of people happy if they saw food that was like from their own nationality and like, you know, I don't know. Interesting, they also asked for more vase options. Okay, first of all, I have been watching a lot of YouTube. I feel like every single professional interior designer always says vase instead of vase, and it makes me feel so weird when I hear it. Comment down below if you say vase or vase because I'm curious. <laughs> anyway, they asked for more, which is kind of interesting because I thought we kind of had a lot of vase options already, um, but they mentioned that they only use the glass ones because they don't like the other ones, so maybe if they're just more like, I don't know. I thought that all of the vase options were pretty generic. They also suggested daily quests I feel like in other games, daily quests are really common, but because of how Bloxburg is and like the idea of the game, you work to make money, and so I'm not entirely sure 
what a daily quest would look like. I, if I were to imagine it, I would think it was like go work a shift at the pizza place for 20 minutes or something and you get an extra bonus. I think that would be cool. Okay, still on the same comment. <laughs> Pet stuff, okay. I've seen a lot of people ask for just, if pets aren't gonna be added, then just add pet decorations. And I feel like if that were to ever happen, it would come with a pet update. But I agree, it would be cute to be able to decorate a pet room even if you can't have pets. I don't know, it's a cool idea. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna read from them, they said um, the ability to quickly manage permissions. They said, I like to block everyone when recording, so I would like an option to block everyone. I can relate but at the same time i never actually block anyone do i i don't actually do that but i can see why a lot of people would you know like get bored going through and making everyone blocked also it's kind of annoying that you have to throw a party every time that you want everyone to get guest permissions so also being able to quickly give everyone guests would also just be like nice. They said, I want more wood floorings because there isn't a lot and I agree. I use the same two every single time. I use the thin planks and I use like the more rustic-y looking wood. I feel like if they made a more modern version of that. I know they recently added the subway tiles. Actually, I feel like that was kind of a long time ago but also kind of recently but that's like the most modern kind of material I think there is. So yeah, if they just added more like sleek modern materials that would be nice this person leah i think this is something that i've seen in adopt me i've only played once or twice but i think i remember this being a thing um but it says they should make it so when you click on a kid you can press pick up and on their screen it will show username wants to pick you up yes or no i think that would be really cool for role players can you not pick people up in bloxburg I guess that's not really something that I've ever paid attention to because I have never roleplayed once ever, so I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so like 30 minutes later, I'm back. I have no idea what the last thing that I said was. Penguin Peace says, I kind of want new beds. I know they already made another bed, but still. I can agree. I don't think you can ever have too much furniture in a building game. Okay, wait, can you guys see this? Hold on. Do you guys see all those ducks out there? Wait, I'm zooming. They're all over there. Sorry, I always see them cross the road over here and it's so funny. Okay, that's all. Okay, this person also said a couple things. Um, can you guys hear my dog walking? We'll give her a moment. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Look, okay, I have a bunch of deer that live in my backyard and this one is an albino deer. And I always catch it. Like, look at that. It's so majestic. It looks like a little, a little unicorn. Look at that. Now it's going into my backyard. Like, isn't that so crazy? This is my backyard. I gotta send a picture to my mom. <laughs> okay, sorry. I love animals. I had to. Okay, this is interesting. Um, Brody says, a setting for roleplay mode is so if it's on, kids can't drive cars, and if it's off, they can. Also, speeding tickets and red lights. Okay, I've never noticed this, but do Bloxburg lights actually change color? I've like never like, stuck around at an intersection long enough to notice. But if it does, I know that a lot of people in the past have said speeding tickets. Again, that's the thing like the gas station, it's just going to be more of a cost to you guys. But it obviously makes things more realistic, so definitely it's a fun idea. Okay, this next person... Oh, come on light. Come on. So this next person I actually have blocked. I assume it's because they spammed my DMs. But they said, better updated starter house. That reminds me, I have wanted to um, renovate the starter houses. I think I did it once or twice in the past, but that was definitely a very long time ago. So if you guys want me to redecorate any of the starter houses, let me know. I think that's always a fun that's always a fun thing to do. Anyways, I think actually like three years ago, the developer told me that if I like made a little house that I think would be good enough to be an actual starter house that I should let him know and I was like, okay, yeah, sure, that's so fun and then I never did and I don't know why. I think I just forgot and I never went back to it so I just accidentally went all the way down to the bottom. 
I hate that little arrow button. It's so useful sometimes, but just not when I need it. I know a lot of people complain about the mopeds. Is that what they're called? The little the little scooter things when you're working at the pizza job. They said when you level up at the pizza place, your scooter will drive faster. Well, that seems like a good idea, but at the same time, it's like kind of negate the fact that you have to work longer to level up after every level. So if your moped then goes faster, then they would need to increase the time to where you level up because obviously you'll just keep leveling at almost the same rate if it keeps getting faster every time. I don't know why that was so hard to comprehend in my mind, but I hope that made sense. Okay, this is interesting. I feel like I keep saying that in the beginning of every single thing that I'm reading. I'm getting my dresser delivered today, so every time I hear like a truck outside, I'm like, is that it? Did I finish that thought that I just had? I don't think I did, I don't know, whatever. A lot of people suggested stuff for babies. Um, I've definitely touched on that before. I think that's something that everyone has been asking for for forever. Someone said a walk-in fridge. Are those actually things? I watched Kim Kardashian's like, what was it? I think her pantry tour, but she also went into her like walk-in fridge and it was insane. You can kind of just make that on your own though. If you just make a little closet and use smoke machines or something and make it really bright inside, you can make your own walk-in fridge. Just like, you know, DIY. I still have so many to go through, but I... If you guys want another video like this, literally part four, let me know. I think they're really fun to do and you guys have so many great ideas and it's, I don't know, it's so fun reading like what you guys think should be added. I don't know. I think the developer is going to hate me again for posting this. I'm so sorry, but you know, content. <laughs> if you maybe want to be featured in the next part of this video, go ahead and join my Discord. Again, I'll put it on the screen. It's also in the description. Always join that and there's a special section on the server for you guys to post your ideas. If you want to, please don't go and DM or contact Coeptus. How do you say his name? I don't know how to say Anyway, whatever. Don't go DM him, Froggy, or anyone else who works for for the game if there even is anyone else i don't know they get these ideas all the time they watch these they know they know your ideas they're working on it so this is just for fun yeah i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i will see you guys next time